Good morning guys from my office here in Koh Phangan, Thailand. It's early, it's 8 o'clock, it's really quiet, not many people on the beach. I love this time. Today there were a few news articles I already, re already read that was interesting. It's not boom news like yesterday the oil price went below zero and all that stuff but still it's interesting. I will try to keep the videos around 10-12 minutes because I saw in YouTube that that's the time span people love to watch. So today I'm going to talk a little bit about crypto gaming. I'm going to talk about the uh, Corona stimulus amount of money that uh, tied to the market cap of whole crypto. I'm going to talk about the Dutch government that wants to be the proving ground now of the European Union's digital cryptocurrency which has a really cool and strange name but very fitting for the Dutch and then there will I will educate you a little bit about how you can send create on a very creative way Bitcoin to your friends and family and um, if they have never had Bitcoin or own Bitcoins this is a really cool way to do it and I'm going to talk a little bit about some festivals that are now going to be cancelled in the Netherlands so they don't want us to have fun anymore. All these things in this episode. That will be really hard to keep it below 10 minutes because I keep talking always. But let's try it. Crypto gaming. I read something about that crypto gaming is now exploding just because of the lockdown. The company, I think it's called Blinks. Blinks Crypto Games. It's uh, all crypto games in Android yet. I didn't see one in... Uh, an Apple Store, but I did see some a few of the games in the Google Play Store. These are, are telling us now that there's like a 50% grow in uh, usage of the apps, which is really cool, of course, because it gives a new uh, meaning to, to to Bitcoin. Now it's in in gaming. Um, the only thing they also said is okay because of the Corona uh, situations, companies tend not to have money anymore to sponsor or to buy advertisements so their revenue is uh, sadly a little down and um, so check them out I, I haven't played the game yet because I don't have an on Android <laughs> let me know if I should buy an Android or I should stay at uh, Apple because I'm doubting about new uh, buying a new phone and I'm doubting always between between a new Android phone or keeping Apple as my techie thing that I have 30% of the day in my head. Then the second part is the Corona stimulus uh, checks and amount of money that is given to the US um, people. The amount of money, I think it's now 2.4 trillion or something, is like two and a half times the total market cap of the Bitcoin high in 2018 January. So I think we were around 800 billion at that period. That was the market cap high. So the stimulus checks now giving because of the Corona to all the people in the US is already two and a half times the amount of that market cap of crypto we reach very proudly in 2018, January. So what does this mean? Could, could people use this money to buy Bitcoin? Would people be smart enough to start using this money to buy Bitcoin? Because you can also read all over the news that banks are having a lot of problems and many banks probably won't survive this huge crisis. So why would you keep your money on this? The second thing I, I, I rather find really strange is that all those people that are receiving the stimulus money now in the US and all, all, all over the world, if you receive the stimulus money on your banks, you know they can even take this money from you you know if you still have some debts out of there or whatever they will just confiscate this money so gone stimulus money that's why you should demand the stimulus money being given in Bitcoin so they can't take it from you and you can really use it um, for these difficult parts in your life where um, yeah where you really could need the money another beautiful news is the Dutch government asks the European Union if they could be the playing ground or testing ground for the new European Central Bank's cryptocurrency, 
which is called the CBDC. So I think the Dutch government didn't understand it completely right. I think they thought CBDC stands for CBD oil crypto. You know, you know the weed oil crypto. So probably the Dutch government again thought, wow, we can make some money in weed. Let's become the playing and the testing ground for the CBD crypto. No, it's all about a central bank's digital currency. That is what the central bank of the EU is th talking about. And the Dutch government tries now to become the testing ground for this digital cryptocurrency. Which is really strange because I don't think the Netherlands is the best country to test this. Just because we have 18 million people living in a square meter and the social distancing doesn't make it very easy to spend these currencies at the moment. And in the Netherlands became big because of a lot of illegal things which made like I think 40% of the Netherlands hodling a lot of illegal cash. And how do you get this illegal cash into the centralized form of money that is like ruled by the European bank? Probably not so successful idea, I think. So that was the news about the, the Dutch government wants to be a testing ground for the CBDC currency, which is a very bad name. Maybe call it just a digital euro or the digital gilden and go back to the VOC time where you conquered the world by plucking poor countries, all of the drugs over there and the opium and selling in the Netherlands with huge profits. I think that was the thing the Netherlands did at these times. That was sarcastic, of course. <laughs> then a very important part to me, because our freedom is taking a little bit more, more. And now I'm not talking about just freedom, I'm talking about freedom to have fun. Because now the Netherlands have decided that the whole festival season needs to be cancelled. Every uh, event that needs a license uh, needs to be cancelled be uh, until the 3rd of September. So you're not allowed to have fun till the 3rd of September in the Netherlands and many other countries in Europe. This is like crazy as hell. So even if this flu killed less people as the flus did in the last couple of years, we are forced to not have fun anymore. I'm from the city Venlo in the Netherlands. They always have the traditional Zoma Park Fest, Summer Park Fest. It's a free festival, like 90,000 people visit it every year for free. Huge acts are over, uh, playing there. They even need to cancel now. Lowlands, one of my favorite festivals in the Netherlands. I spent many years of my life over there. They need to cancel the festival. Tomorrowland, one of the biggest dance festivals. They need to, this is killing all the fun all over the world for people so now even we already said that all businesses are closed that you are not free to go out anymore you're not free to visit your grandparents or whatever we are also now giving up all the fun i just really i'm just really sad to hear that we are just accepting this i'm really sad to see that the governments are requesting us to do this because i really can't understand I really can't and maybe I'm just too stupid and just too much here on the beach but for me it's just unbelievable that it would cancel and would kill our lives like this just because of a flu that has been killing less people as other flus did in the past years and don't tell me that it is because we have locked down that it kills less people no because you know even in Italy, where they didn't do a lockdown completely and everything, there was a peak, and after the peak, the amount of people dying went down. And this, Sweden didn't lock down, it sees the same, same thing. You know, you see this flu growing up, peaking, and slowly going down again. Because that's exactly what the flu has been doing, the flu has been doing every year. And now we even need to give up. The fun part of life, the festival part of life that so many people look forward to when they work all year very hard and now no festivals. I just hope people find the courage to celebrate life to the fullest on illegal festivals 
that are spreading all over Netherlands at the same time on the same day so that there is not enough police or government officials to stop those festivals so you know because this is like getting really ridiculous this is like this is really not cool anymore shit I completely forgot to tell you one more thing because that is the thing how you could send Bitcoin in a very cool way um, to your friends and family uh, for their birthday or whatever you can't celebrate at the moment it's called this this product is called Bitnovo and in Bitnovo you can buy like crypto coupons Bitcoin coupons for small amounts like 20 euros 25 euros 50 euros and these coupons you can send to your friends as a gift so you buy them online and in the Netherlands you buy them on beltegoed.nl I think in Germany goodhaben.de um, I think you can buy them in Belgium and France on recharge.fr or .be so there are many sites I will put the, the sites uh, below in the descriptions you can buy this um, Bitcoin coupon slash gift cards for your friends and then you just send this coupon and they receive this coupon and then they are educated in how to um, accept these bitcoins as a gift and how to put them in a bitcoin wallet and I need to walk again on my office and how to put those bitcoins in a wallet and everything it's a very playful way of uh, introducing people to bitcoin and at the same time it's just a very creative gift because you know everybody has heard about bitcoin now so it's so cool to give a bitcoin present so check the links below it, the company is called Bitnovo and but every country has a different reseller of these coupons but it's an amazing way to um, to start buying you can also go to our website the bitcoinfamily.com because on the main page I made this uh, category of buying bitcoins in a simple way and there are also the links to uh, the websites you can buy these coupons as a present for your friends family and other people that are now locked up in their homes and can't celebrate their birthday oh my god I would love to do one episode just shouting yelling screaming and you know about everything what is happening now in the world but I need to stay positive and keep it positive because you guys this also will be an end to all of this and at the end everything will probably turn normal again this is as long we don't accept this to be the new normal you know, you hear this saying by many uh, governmental, governmental people, this is the new normal. This is not the new normal. Don't accept this as the new normal. Accept this as the sci-fi normal you don't want to live in. The new normal doesn't exist. We want the old normal, a life full with celebrations, full with restaurants eating, full with bars opening and having fun, full with festivals, full with all the freedom to go into parks, beaches, and other holiday destinations full with uh, traveling open borders and all of that that is normal this is not the new normal don't accept this as a new one that was the news for today I hope I kept it below 10 minutes let's see and um, so let me know what you think about crypto gaming is this a going to be a huge industry you know I'm a supporter of decent bet decent bet is also to do with gaming and um, wagering your gaming skills you're monetizing your gaming skills also really cool check them decent.bet um, then you know let me know what you think about the corona stimulus check are many people going to use this money to invest in bitcoin or other cryptocurrencies the dutch central bank do you really think they know what digital cryptocurrency is or did they really think it is a, a cbd oil currency um, let me know your thoughts on the festival season because that is exactly what I want to hear from you do you think this is a positive way to handle COVID by killing our festival season I wish you all a very beautiful Wednesday if it is a Wednesday I really don't know the day at the moment and I don't want to take my telephone off to, uh, to, to see which day it is but I wish you an amazing day I wish you all the fun you can have today and remember it's all up to you how to uh, make the life beautiful live life to the fullest 24 7 day in day out and life will slowly become more beautiful again even if you're locked down you can do a lot of beautiful things that makes life amazing and just do it and don't let them kill your freedom of thinking 
freedom of speech, freedom of celebrating life. See you tomorrow guys and thanks for watching the video, share the video, uh, like the video and hit the bell button so you will be notified about new videos that will be made every day for you while I'm sweating on this beach in Koh Phangan, Thailand. I'm walking into the water. It is too hot. Guys, see you man. Thanks for watching. Thank you.